Hey everybody, it's Aquila from a Lefty Knitter Podcast, and this is episode 18. Today is June 10th, yes, 2018. It's a Sunday, and it looks like another storm is going to roll right in. We have been getting hit with massive amounts of rain and flooding and all kinds of craziness. I live in Baltimore, Maryland with my husband, John, and my daughters, MJ and Z, and... Yeah, that, that's my story. So, I think I'm going to keep this one relatively short. I think that I'm going to only show my finished objects and talk about my acquisitions. Because, does everybody really want to see a pair of socks over and over again? <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, so we're just going to do some finished objects and that's where we're going to start. So. Uh, thank everybody for coming back to the channel and thank any new subscribers that are watching and Yeah, so you can find me on Instagram as Aquila DeHun and on Ravelry as Aquila DeHun and that'll be here So, you know, here we go. I have my computer right here next to me So if I look over that way, I apologize, but I want to make sure I get designers names right pattern name right yarn names right you know all all the important things that will be linked down below so you can look up the actual spellings and i will be putting them across the screen so hopefully they're not too fast if not like again you can find them below the first finished object sorry that looks a little close all right we're just gonna back that up a little i showed this on the last podcast it was i think very in the early stages and i actually finished it Let's see, I'm clicking on the project now. My Ravelry page is usually pretty updated. I don't always make a lot of notes, but if I make a pattern change, I try to make the note in there. I also um, try to link all my yarn because I'm every time I buy yarn, it goes in my stash, except the new things I haven't put in there yet. Two of the new things I haven't put in there. So um, you can always check out my Ravelry, pa Ravelry pages because I try to keep them up to date so it's easier for people to take a look and find things that way. So I actually finished this project. This is the Pure Joy by Hohi Locatelli. And I know people have seen this many a times. She's a huge, um, very famous designer. Sorry, family was walking across and I keep hearing them. <clears throat> so this is Pure Joy and the I'll just show it so it is finished I did not block it because I feel like sometimes garter you don't need to block it out but I did weave in all my ends it does say that it's 99% done in my project page right now only because I haven't taken finished object photos of it so this on and I really like it I just haven't taken finish finished photos it could probably do with a good blocking but I'm not worried about it so the main color this gray is well all the all the yarn is duck duck wool this is Peter's shadow and this these are larger skeins you can see it's 600 yards and this is the, the gray. I decided I bought a mini kit from her when I was at, I, I can't think, the, I can't think of the festival. I'll think of it and put it down here. And so I also bought the Freckled Flowers mini kit from her, mini set. And my idea was to do each stripe, well I have it on now. So I did each stripe with each of the colors because it was six colors. So you can see it started with, there's a pink, an orange, a green, a blue, and a purple, which you can see them all down here also. So I mimicked the mini stripes, just the little single row with the larger blocks. So when I did do the larger wedges down here, I did modify well, it's not really a modification because it's a two color shawl and that whole section would have just been one color. I had to kind of figure out 
how much yarn I used going back and forth and as the wedges got longer I had to make sure I had enough so of course here's what's left of my gray which I have a lot left of I haven't weighed all this yarn yet I or I may have weighed this I try to weigh all my yarn and actually put the totals in there for that too so you can see I have the most of the pink left and then it just goes in order obviously from there and how much I have left of each color so you can see that because obviously the pink wedge was smaller even though I did more rows of the pink wedge and as I went further down the colors I had to do less rows I might have even put in my pattern notes that I how many I did I don't know um, no I didn't but I did weigh this one so you know <laughs> but I really really like it I think it's kind of a cool staple to have in my wardrobe only because of it having a very neutral color with the gray and then pops of lots of different colors down here so I actually really really love this I haven't worn it yet because now that it's it's almost summer in like a week or two it's gonna be summer Guys, you know it's, it's warm so but there's my pure joy by Hopi Locatelli and I use the same needles in her pattern because I didn't swatch for a shawl because it's a shawl. <laughs> my second finished object is actually uh, off my loom. So you guys saw the beginnings of this and it's now finished. And it was hanging on my daughter's wall and I go, I went and stole it to show it on the podcast. So I think I was almost done. I think I had had up to here with the little triangle and I just had to finish these. So I did that. We went to Home Depot, bought a dowel rod. I cut the dowel rod shorter with my Dremel. And then I let my daughter, who's almost three, September, uh, paint it. She had a lot of fun painting it. So I let her pick the color too. So I have a Funum loom. And I'll mark that down there. I did have lots of gaps in here that I did um, kind of manipulate a little to fill in some of the gaps so it's not, you can see some right there. But overall I really think it turned out well. This is only like the third thing I've done on this loom and the first two things really <laughs> were pretty much failures. Not failures, but they're not being shown in the house as anything, so there you go. And this is just scraps of yarn. I don't, on my project pages for this and a lot of my other little weavings with my circle weave, I don't list the yarns because a lot of it's mostly acrylic too and just in a big old Rubbermaid bin that I pull random colors out of. So there you go. This third finished object, I bought the yarn knowing I was gonna make a hat for my daughter and I bought it in 2016 and I haven't made I didn't make it till just now now this uh, yarn did not come with a label on it it is only came with the sale label on it I bought this yarn at Woolworks in Baltimore it's Stonehenge crazy so if you go to my project page and it, Stonehenge fiber mill crazy and it's a self striping yarn and they're pretty cool because it's Kind of marled looking so you'll see that in a minute and so the pattern that I did was the open skies hat by Mina Phillip the knitting expat and I've had the pattern also for probably a couple months I don't know how long but I bought she was having I think a sale and I bought um, this pattern and maybe another pattern but there's the, the front page of the pattern it doesn't give any details on it so I really needed some sort of palette cleanser because after I had finished the shawl, I had taken two pairs of socks on vacation, and that's all I had other than my two crochet blankets, which I'm not going to show either. And I really needed something that was quick and simple, and that's that was it. So, I, you can see how the yarn is marled. The ends are not woven in, so technically it's really not finished, my husband says, but to me it's finished. And so the, Mina does the double brims, which I really love on hats. I think they are very warm and cozy. You just do a long tail, well, I just do a long tail cast on. You knit for so many rows, you double it, you fold it over, and then you're knitting two together. You're knitting, uh, 
a stitch from your long tail cast on and a live stitch together as a knit to, knit to together. I think this even fits my head. So I made it for my daughter. I followed, I followed the pattern exactly. This yarn is, uh, I'm so sorry. This yarn is a sport yarn and the pattern calls for a DK. So I knew that it was gonna be smaller, although by now my daughter, I can make her pretty much adult size hats in just the women's size or the small and they fit her pretty good, pretty well. Um, because by now kids heads are pretty big so a toddler's head is pretty big I know they make toddler pattern sizes but if I want to get a little more use out of this I'm just making it an upsize so I knew it was going to actually be a little smaller if I just followed the pattern directly because I was using a, a lighter weight yarn and I think it turned out really awesome the only thing I, I don't know if I'm going to make a pom-pom so it started off obviously with all this gray and pink marl and then it went into this blue and then look how much more blue there was. That would have went almost up to here. I would have never gotten to this pink and that would have made me kind of really upset because what's the point of the hat being all this color if the yarn is supposed to, you know, you're supposed to showcase all of it. So I did uh, cut my yarn Picked it back up right before the next color. And that color, actually, I was worried I'm not going to get into the pink, but I could have probably left this in. And it would have ended with the pink, and that would have been okay too. But I had to jo rejoin this one, finish it. And I think if I make a pom-pom, I'm going to make it in the, in the leftover in the blue that was left. So... I really like it though. I didn't get any finished object pictures of this. I think I, I think I just marked this one as finished even though the ends aren't woven in and I really didn't take great finished object photos. Hi Mia, our cat. So very quick palette cleansers. I love making hats. My husband, I cast it off and I took a picture and I posted it already on social media and he was like, didn't you just do start that on Saturday and I was like yep Saturday June 2nd and I finished it on June 4th because they're great oh my gosh they just really clear your mind and it's I love hat projects just for that reason I have more hat projects in mind to have on the ready to as a go-between for even when I'm not done a project just because so those are all my finished objects. I'm not gonna show you the progress on any of my socks. I don't even think I showed my socks in the last pro thing in the last <sighs> episode. I can't speak today. This is kind of feeling rushed and I'm sorry. So I'm gonna show some acquisitions and talk a little bit about a yarn shop we went to while on vacation in the Outer Banks. I'm also not going to uh, add additional footage from our vacation. I feel like I didn't take a bunch of footage. I did take a bunch of pictures and I tried to take some footage. So if I make a Outer Banks vlog, it's going to be separate from this episode. So just keep checking back to my channel and you could find it possibly in the next, you know, maybe month or so. I just haven't had any ambition to download any of our um, pictures from my phone yet or video. So maybe maybe that'll come soon. All right, next on to acquisitions. So on my Instagram, which is where I am most active, I post a lot to my stories about different things. I don't actually post a ton of photos. Like I know a lot of people will post progress picture after progress picture of projects and I usually just kind of wait to post a final picture I don't know I don't that's whatever um, so I actually already showed these acquisitions on my stories I um, they're pretty cool so you might have already seen them you might have actually already seen them on other podcasts so if 
you are, if you have not received Lolo Did It's first Monsters series colorway, you should probably just pause and look away. Um, but I think other people have shown it already on podcast and it's been, I got it before vacation so, or right when we got home from vacation. I don't know. But it's been at least two weeks, so maybe if you're not in the States, you might have not gotten it yet. So look away. This is the Lolo Did It First Monster uh, colorway. El Chupa Chupacabra. <laughs> I know uh, I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong, but whatever. And so it's really super beautiful, like all of her colors. And it comes with a mini and it's so cute because it's called El Chivo. I don't know what that means. I should probably look it up or maybe somebody can tell me down below. And yeah, super awesome. Her yarn is always really awesome. And this is her new low original base, which I have yet to knit with, but it is, let me tell you, it is. 85% extra fine superwash merino and 15% nylon and it's 444 yards. So there you go. So they're really awesome. I really can't wait to do something with this. I'm not sure what. If it's going to be socks or if I'll hold on to it to, to make something else with it. Who knows. The other is also a, it's a three month yarn club. And I received the first installment already. This is from Knit Style Yarns from Sharon. And she also has a podcast and she's a yarn dyer and her friend makes all the bags. So this is the Wizard of Oz three month club. So if you have not received this, please don't look either. Um, I don't want you to be spoiled and have it ruined. So it also, I'll be getting two more skeins of yarn the next two months. So I'm really excited about that. But when I heard that she was doing this, I couldn't wait. I, I had to have it. And because Wizard of Oz is just amazing. I don't know. I've always loved it. So I'll show the bag. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And it has all a bunch of little scenes and quotes. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. And so the, the bags are really nice. When she talks about her bags and she says they're really nice, they're really nice. They're just made really, really well. So there's her label, Donna's Designs. Nice light color for the inside of a bag, which I actually really appreciate because when you have a dark color lining in your bag and you're trying to find something, it's kind of hard. So a nice light color, you can see all your items in your bag. So there's the bag. And then the first colorway, Over the Rainbow. And this is on a gold Selena base, if you can see that. And it's 438 yards, 75 superwash merino, 20 nylon, 5% gold Selena, and this is a two ply. I didn't mention that the Lolo was a four ply, her low original base. So, so there's the two club acquisitions. Now I'm going to talk about the Blue Pelican. The Blue Pelican was a yarn shop which was so close to where we were staying. And sorry, my computer is being goofy. And I was so happy to go there and I was so happy to meet Jen, who is the owner of the shop. I believe she said she's been there 18 years, open 18 years. She just recently, maybe in the last year to two years maybe, she's been carrying yarn. So if you get a chance and you are in the lower outer banks, you need to go. She's in, um, it's Hatteras, but we were staying uh, kind of Buxton area, if you know the area at all, or if you want to Google it. So here's the, her bag. And so it's all kinds of artists. She carries a lot of local artists. She carries other artists that she just really enjoys from other places, um, other than the Outer Banks, and then a bunch of her stuff. And 
I really wanted to ask her to possibly do like an interview, but um, I wasn't really ready for that. <laughs> And I, we did go back like another day and I even bought um, some more stuff. I bought presents for people that I wanted to buy some, some things for. So this is one of the things I bought for myself and it's hanging on my yarn cabinet. And this is a resin mold from, uh, why can't I think of what they're called? Um, an urchin. So she makes molds and she pours resin and then she makes little yarn and resin jellyfish and it's super cute and I love it. And you know, local, just to get stuff from her, like everything I bought, even for my family, I bought some jewelry. Um, they were all made by her. I was supporting her. I mean, yes, I would be supporting her if I bought other stuff from the shop, but I, you know, my husband bought me this, and I don't know if you can read it, if it's going to be visible, but it says, if I'm sitting, I'm knitting. And she hand stamped these. They're aluminum bracelets that are hand stamped. And my husband, I said that to him at some point on the trip, and he just thought it was hilarious. And uh, yeah, so he, when we went back the second time, he had that made for me. Sorry, I'm reaching real quick. Okay. She had a lot of a lot of different yarn and a lot of really great yarns. I didn't see she had she did have some like indie dyed yarn, I believe. A lot of it, um, but a lot of huge variety. I a huge variety. So I really never have bought mohair before. So I bought the Debbie Bliss Angel. And this is Super Kid Mohair and Silk. 76 mohair, 24% silk. And I thought that was really beautiful and could go with anything. I know the yardage, it's a decent amount of yardage. So I could actually get this into maybe two hats. That's what, that was my thought. But I am going to mix it with Elizabeth Lavold. I've never heard of this yarn before. Silky Wool, Designer's Choice, made in Italy. And this is called Pick Icing, but I think it's probably supposed to be Pink Icing. And it's 45% wool, 35% silk, and 20% nylon. And I thought these held together would make a super cute hat. And I already have an idea of which hat I'm gonna make. And the last thing I bought, I really loved this. I thought this was such a cool idea. <clears throat> Sorry, the crinkly. This is called Fiber Arts Inspiration Kits. And it says on here, contains approximately five yards of each, and I'll hold that up while I read it. Of or each coordinating but differently patterned and textured yarn may include recycled yarn, two packs of beads and beading cords, Suggested uses, weaving, jewelry making, mixed media art, knit or crochet, small items, posters, etc., hand spinning, anything you can imagine. And then it, she also says to send a photo of your finished creation to us via Facebook at facebook.com blue pelican gallery or the Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. You can send it to any of those. So you can buy... Uh, she has a coupon code on her Instagram for free shipping. So if you go get her, I think it's OBX Blue Pelican is her Instagram name. And beautiful pictures of sunsets. Oh my gosh. And all the different pictures of all the, the different artists work that she carries in the shop. Really beautiful stuff. Uh, th this is the website for purchasing any of the products that she sells. And like I said, if you use that coupon code that's on her Instagram, you can get free shipping. Like, cool, why not? I would utilize it. But I just thought this reminded me of the beach and we were there on a beach vacation. And so I'm going to be weaving this. I don't know when, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. So all in all, we had a really good vacation. Jen was super nice and if, 
um, well, we are going back. We already have booked for the next season because a lot of campgrounds you can book for the next season for the same spot for the same week. You get like a grace period to call in and book um, for the next year. We met some great people at the campground. We had an awesome time. And next year when I go down, I am definitely hitting her up on her knit group day. I think it's a Tuesday. I'll make sure what day it is when I go back. And I'm going to be chilling out at her shop to um, hang out because... It's just awesome. <laughs> it was it was just inspirational and beautiful and the cutest little shop. So if you um, get a chance, you should really check out her page. I I loved it. So that's really everything for episode 18. Actually, I could show a ton more because I have two new sock whips and a fingerless glove <laughs> whip. Uh, the fingerless gloves were also kind of cast on as a palette cleanser because, I don't know, the socks are just taking me a while. I'm not, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not feeling socks right now. Maybe I just need to cast on and knit all the hats. Let's be done with it. <laughs> so that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Sorry my husband's not here. He just got home from his Father's Day weekend ride, which I know Father's Day is next weekend here in the United States, but uh, he they had a whole thing planned um, to see the race of gentlemen and up in New Jersey. That was kind of a disaster. The tide was weird. They canceled all day yesterday's activities, and he needed to be home at some point today to be able to go to work tomorrow. So he's home, he's chilling out with the babe and unpacking the motorcycle. So my cat is on the table. So if it's extra shaky, I apologize. So until the next time guys, I hope you are having a good old time knitting whatever you're knitting or crocheting or weaving and or crafting. Just crafting in general is good for the soul. Alright, so until next time guys, knit happy and see you then.